on this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. Your second observation was that how um, the courts looked at me taking someone off child support. Listen, and and I don't mind them doing that so much because mm -hmm. there there are a few guys that'll be like, listen, if you don't take me off child support, I'm gonna put you in the trunk, right? Oh. And so judges mm -hmm. want to make sure <laughs> that you're not. I mean, there are some real pookies out here. I know we talk about pookie <laughs> and Ray Ray, but I have representative. Okay, let me tell you, there are some real pookies and Ray Rays out here, and they will put a woman in the trunk. In the trunk, especially here in Atlanta, Chicago Ooh. really knows about it. It gets deep down here. <laughs> I know. So, I was up there in College Park, right? So, so you know, right? Right. So, so these judges, they just want to make sure. Hey, is everything okay? You know. Blink once if you really want this. Blink twice if you're threatened. You know, so they want to ask a few questions, and I don't mind that. I don't mind that um, because uh, they, they, people can be threatened. Here's the thing: there, there are two ways to get uh, physical, or, or let's say 50-50 uh, custody, just to make it just to make it easy. Shout out to Aunt Twenty Six. I always support your boy. Shout out to Aunt. Thank you. Uh, thank you for supporting me over here as well. Um, there are two ways to get it. The, the first way and the best way, if you're a man, is just to agree with the mom. You know, the mom knows that you're a great, a great father. You're a great father. You know, she agrees mm -hmm. and y'all agree and y'all just write it up and the judge will sign off on it. If you, if the mother does not agree, then you're in the uphill battle again. And it's going to be very difficult to get that uh, for, for various reasons. Am I seeing more? Uh, cases probably if I look at it over a 20 year period, mm -hmm. but if I look at it over a five year period, not, not really. Um, uh, now in cases where you do have it, um, a lot of times if it's by agreement, there won't be any child support because they're, they're going to try to act like they make them out the about, they're going to yeah. try to make, they're going to try to act like they make about the same in income. And if mm -hmm. they make it, if they make the same in income, then usually there's going to be no child support. But if the father makes substantially more than the mother, even though there's a 50-50 split in the custody, there is going to be some child support. It's not going to be as much as it would be if it was, you know, 80-20 or 75-30 or 75-25 or 70-30, but there is going to be some. Uh, so maybe let's say for one child, your child support was supposed to be $1,000. And if you do the 50-50, maybe it's $200 or $100 or $300, something like that. But um, do I see more? Have I seen more in the last five years? No. Um, and again, it's because women have this expectation of getting child support mm -hmm. and, uh, and not only an expectation, but a desire as well. Right. Cause child support could be lucrative. I mean, you get 18,000 <laughs> now again, that's not what most people are getting. Right. But even if you get 12, even if you get 1200 for one kid, you can't tell me you're spending $1,200 on that three-year-old every single month. Right. So women are going to want that. And so why would they agree to a 50 50 mm -hmm. split and give up twelve hundred dollars every month uh, uh, for 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 18 years? That's 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 over one hundred thousand dollars. Might be over. I don't know how much that is. Oh, it's one hundred fifty thousand child. What's that? Well, so the average is a child with like housing and everything, you know, is wrong with that. Well, I mean, the, the USDA, well, here's the thing, because the USDA has tried to calculate how much it costs to, to raise a child. And economists in Chicago, uh, the University of Chicago, where the best economists are, are, are trained mm -hmm. uh, in the nation, better than Harvard, Stanford, they have all said that the way that the USDA is calculating how much the child support should be is, is flawed. Uh, just the calculations are flawed. So when you look at statistics, you know, it's always hard to tell. We need statistics. We need the numbers. But, you know, when when University of Chicago professors are saying that the government is not calculating how much child support should be correctly and that child support should be substantially less. Right. But then again, you know, how are you going to how are you going to improve the child support system? Who's going to vote to reduce child support? Oh, well, not the moms. Right. And, you know, the dads. Some dads, she don't guys. Talk about that part, Lee. She don't want to talk about that. <laughs> no, part. I do. I actually am really glad he's here. I mean, Go it's ahead. it's interesting because you know child support is such a, a interesting. Hold on, subject. Lee. Did you see what she just did? She did that uh that thing that that lady in Misery did. Like, have you ever seen Misery? <laughs> like she <laughs> she she, she literally like she had she had this chaotic 
thing. And then she said, <laughs> no, that is the sign of a person that will tie you to the bed, make you write a book for them, read it, and then break your feet. <laughs> What a hammer, just like the girl in misery, bro. This is crazy. I've seen her do the exact same scene. Oh, God. Oh, this is dear. crazy. Anton, oh, my goodness. I've been trying not to say your name like that because I'm just trying to, like, get out of that habit of calling your name like Anton. But... Trust me, I'm used stop, to hearing it called just that same stop, way. It's, right. it's normal. It's the normal. Chemistry you guys have is amazing. To influence. I'm used to it. Average amount of child support um, is like less than 500. So I did see that was the average of what I pulled up. Um, but I will say this too because I had my um, child's father on child support, but I took him off. We have joined. He hits her 50 percent of the time. So and I took him off child support. Um, but when I did that, the judge was like, are you sure? Did, let's talk about this. Like it was frowned upon in the courts that I took him off, which I was surprised of. And of course the guys in the back gave him a standing ovation, but <laughs> I was like, yay. But the courts, like the lawyers and, um, the judge looked at it and was like, are you sure? Why do you want to do that? That doesn't make any sense. You have to understand, you, you know, so they were telling me that I shouldn't have. Yeah, well, um, let's talk about the average for a second. The average of child, I mean, the averages can vary. The, mm -hmm. average, you, the average of $500 really should mean nothing to you at all. Because, you know, how much a guy pays in Mississippi versus that same guy in Florida versus that same mm -hmm. guy in Silicon Valley versus that same guy in, in New York. I mean, the average, it, it's a meaningless, it's a meaningless number. Is the percentage um, the same, though? No. So it's the average. What? Okay, so what makes the Wait, difference? Let, hold on, let me. Yeah, yeah. What's this? <laughs> well, it, it, in some states, let's say, let's say uh, Texas, for example, I believe they use a percentage model. So they say, listen, for one, we're not even going to consider how much the mom makes. We're just going to focus on much how much the dad makes. And if the dad makes, if there's one child, then the dad's going to pay twenty percent. If there are two children, then it's going to be twenty five percent. If there are three children, twenty seven percent, something like that. Georgia uses an income shares model where we take into account how much the mother makes and the father makes. Mm -hmm. So if the father makes, if the mother makes a lot of money, the father is going to pay less. If the mother makes less money, then the father is going to pay more. So now you have this gamemanship of, of, of mothers trying to reduce their income and fathers trying to reduce their income so that they pay less. And then you have all these modified versions. So if you say, well, the average is $500, it doesn't make any sense because all these states are calculating child support differently. So it really is a, it's a meaningless number. Mm -hmm. um, and, and child support can, you know, even if you have a, a child support payment of, let's say, 700, that can actually, you know, bankrupt uh, a father who's, 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 whose income is very low. Because the ch even though it's at seven hundred, the child support really should be five hundred, right? But there's two hundred dollars mm -hmm. tacked on, and for a lot of a lot of our community, those two hundred dollars a month they mean something. Yeah, those are some real two hundred dollars right there. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, I, I, I forgot what your second question is, but let me just let me just tell you don't 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 give that five hundred dollars average any significance at all. Yeah. What was oh, it? Oh, your, your second your second observation was that how um, the courts looked at me taking someone off child support. Listen, and and I don't mind them doing that so much because mm -hmm. there there are a few guys that'll be like, listen, if you don't take me off child support, I'm gonna put you in the trunk, right? Oh. And so judges mm -hmm. want to make sure <laughs> that you're not. I mean, there are some real pookies out here. I know we talk about pookie <laughs> and Ray Ray, but I have representative. Okay, let me tell you, there are some real pookies and Ray Rays out here, and they will put a woman in the trunk. In the trunk, especially here in Atlanta, Chicago Ooh. real knows about it. It gets deep down here. I know. So, I was up there in College Park, right? So, so you know, right? Right. So, so these judges, they just want to make sure. Hey, is everything okay? You know. Blink once if you really want this. Blink twice if you're threatened. That, you know, so they want to ask a few questions, and I don't mind that. I don't mind that um, because uh, they, they, people can be threatened. 